For 25 years, Robert Reed kept active by practicing karate, playing football, softball, and basketball. But his love for sports took a toll on his body. Robert developed arthritis in his knees and would need surgery. The knee pain was tremendous, and you always have that constant ache, that throbbing. I actually got to the point I was uh, probably popping Advil like M&Ms. To alleviate Robert's pain, doctors performed a partial knee resurfacing. A knee has three separate compartments, and when only one part of the knee is diseased, we have the opportunity to just replace that part of the knee. And instead of fully replacing it, I'm able to simply resurface the end of the bone with metal on one side and a high-density medical plastic on the other side and leave the rest of the knee completely intact and leave all the ligaments and the rest of the person's feeling of their knee as if it was their old knee. Because only the damaged surface of the knee is replaced during a partial knee resurfacing, trauma is minimized to healthy bone and tissue. When you do a total knee replacement, the whole knee gets chopped out. And if it fails in 10 years, 12 years, or whenever, you have to put in another total knee. You've burnt every bridge. According to orthopedic surgeon Dr. Ira Kirschenbaum, Partial knee resurfacing would not be an effective treatment option for people suffering from severe arthritis and those battling rheumatoid arthritis. Anyone with the osteoarthritis restricted primarily to one part of the joint is an excellent candidate. And that represents probably 70% of all knee arthritis that's out there. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.